Hello everyone, welcome to my series on how to make your computer run faster, be more secure, and just be better overall. Uh, throughout this series I'm going to show you a handful of tools and utilities that are going to make your computing life a lot easier. Um, a little bit of background about myself. My name is Damien, I'm a 25-year-old uh, college student. For the vast majority of my life I've been working with computers either in programming or in computer repair and consulting. Um, I'm a third year college student in the programming field, so I've been working around computers for quite some time. Um, for this video, I'm going to introduce you to the things that are going to generally uh, remove crap from your computer, to put it bluntly. Um, the best way to ensure that you do not get a virus is to not put yourself at risk of getting one in the first place. Now, there's always going to be ways that one can sneak on your system. You can always be hacked, but generally speaking, most people don't get hacked. That's not how viruses get onto the system. Most of the time, people get hacked because they put themselves at risk by downloading things from non-reputable people and, you know, uh, non-reputable websites. These four tools are going, or five tools, I'm sorry, are going to generally help us out. Um, I'm going to link an antivirus below. I actually don't use one. Most of the stuff that I end up having uh, issues with gets detected and cleaned by these five things. I've never, I haven't had a virus in the last five or six years. Um, and that's when I got out of the scene of downloading kind of shaky things. Um... There's one other utility that's not shown here called Windurstat, um, and I'm going to recommend you guys to download that. It's uh, a very good utility, but it doesn't it isn't really necessary, and I'll explain more about that um, either in this video or the next. Um, Oslogic's Disk Defrag is an excellent utility. Um, what this does is it well, before I tell you what it does, I'm going to explain a little bit about defragmentation. When your hard drive is searching for a file, it's, or well, when your hard drive is running something, uh, it's searching for the bits and pieces on it and where they're put. Now, when you don't have enough free space to store a file, um, it gets moved and split up into different pieces. And over the life of a hard drive, um, these pieces get scattered everywhere. They just go absolutely all over the place. And that's what's known as drive fragmentation. Um, this makes it so your programs just generally run a lot slower. Um, in this case, this program, what it does is it uh, seeks out, you know, uh, spaces that are now free that weren't free. So you can see these... Uh, these areas of gray are free space. Um, the purple are unmovable because they're used in something else. And all these red spots are fragments, meaning that these are files that can be moved to better optimize my computer's performance. Uh, that's going to be a pretty large amount, I'd say. Um, I think it's still analyzing. But once that gets done analyzing, I'm going to guess that I'm going to be about four, maybe five percent fragmented. So I'm going to let that kind of do its thing. Um, Malwarebytes anti-malware is what I actually use as sort of being in lieu of a, uh, a virus scanner. And I think it's very, very, very important that you, you know, have some type of, of scanning that you can use to remove either malware or uh, spyware or something of those along those lines and malwarebytes is amazing at that it's truly the best tool that's out right now um, like all the other tools there's going to be a link to this down below um, all you need to do is come in there's going to be something called scanner you just hit scan on perform full scan when it gets done it'll show you a whole bunch of items and you can just click uh, remove on anything that you're not sure about. Um, 
you want to check for updates before you use it in case you don't do that automatically. There's uh, a couple of tools in here that I wouldn't really recommend using unless you're sure about them. Um, with that said, that's Malwarebytes. Uh, that's really going to help you out. I'm probably going to post a full video about just that one tool. Um, Komodo Firewall is an extremely good free uh, program. All these programs are free, by the way. Um, but this one is is extremely useful. Um, as you can see, it you know it tells me all my incoming and outgoing connections. Uh, it lets me you know block different things, add new uh, uh, applications to to trust and block and things like that. Um, it lets me view any active connections into and out of my computer. And see, this is actually a good way to drive yourself insane if you're paranoid. A lot of the connections coming in and out are just to and from your ISP. So I wouldn't sweat those too much. There have been times when I've had something like 70 connections just to my ISP. So don't worry about that too, too heavily. But just know that, you know, if you crank this thing up, you know, to being very, very safe, that you really won't have any problems with hackers whatsoever. CCleaner is a very efficient tool at doing what I like to refer to as decrapifying your PC. Um, in this case, you get to you know uh, choose all these things that you want deleted from all these areas. Uh, it's going to be things like temporary internet files, history, cookies, uh, internet cache, you know, uh, a lot of different things that are going to be involved in, you know, just daily computing. Um, you're going to just, you know, sort of run this tool. Uh, you can just click Run Cleaner. And it doesn't take long at all. I mean, it, it really takes a matter of seconds. And mind you, I have other stuff running at this time, and, you know, I'm just going to kind of exit out of OzLogix, I think, just because that's taking a little bit. In this case, just by running CCleaner, I just removed 395 meg worth of crap. In that case, it was almost all internet cache from my sort of compulsive browsing habits. Um, but yeah, it's it's a great tool. It's free, and it really helps you kind of keep up on you know removing some stuff that's not needed. Um, Secundia PSI is an interesting tool. It's very different from all the other tools that I've really ever run across in this industry. And it's extremely good at what it does. Now, Secunia is, uh, or well, PSI as it's called, um, Personal Software Inspector, tells you when a program that's installed on your computer has become out of date. And what that means is that there is updates available to some or many programs that are available on your computer. Um, this can be a lot of different things like, uh, geez, I don't know. Um, my last scan showed that Adobe Photoshop was insecure. And it checks all these different files that are installed on your computer. And if you have something that is insecure, all you need to do is click Install Solution. It's a one-button thing. And so you end up with a lot of very, very, very effective fixes that are going to prevent hackers or unwanted people from getting into your system with just a single click. And that's amazing, in my opinion. And lastly, um, I just wanted to show you guys the outcome of Windurstat. Hopefully it's done. No, it's not done. <sighs> I was hoping it would be done but unfortunately I don't think I'm really going to have the time for this uh, to finish. But what Windurstat does is it you know, pulls your hard drive and it checks where every single piece of information is being used. And it uh, organizes it into folders and tells you where the largest chunks of information are being used. In my case, you know, it says that about 108 gig have been used on my hard drive. 14.1 uh, of it's a video game, another 10.3 of this video game, and as you can see I might play a few too many video games. Uh, Boost is a coding library. 
that's another video game and so you know you kind of see that uh, it, it lets you know where there are big files. So maybe you downloaded something that's taking up a lot of space. This is a good way to hunt it down so you can kill it. All right, well, that's really going to cover just about everything that I had to say. Um, there's going to be uh, a lot of other utilities that I mention in other videos that are going to show you how to, uh, to change around your computer's appearance, how to, uh, how to get the most out of it. And hopefully, uh, you guys will come check those videos out with me. All right, well, that's it for now. Hopefully, you guys have learned something, and hopefully, I've saved you guys a trip to Geek Squad. If you have any questions on how to solve any computer problem, or if you want me to make some type of a reply video for this, let me know. I'll be more than happy.